So a lot of you have asked, why don't my flour tortillas puff up? Well, I hope today I can answer that question and maybe help. Here we go. Okay, so to start, you'll want to make your flour tortilla dough. I'm making a double batch today, but I'm going to put the ingredient list here on the screen so you can see what I'm using today. And I will link my original soft flour recipe uh, video in the description below. So little by little, I'm going to add warm to hot water into my flour mixture. And it is going to be a tacky, sticky mess, but slightly tacky is good. That means there's moisture in your dough. In turn, that will be moisture that makes your flour tortillas soft. So I'm just gonna keep working the dough until it looks like this. By the way, if at this point it's still too sticky and tacky, you can try adding all-purpose flour a tablespoon at a time until it comes together. But I do want it to be tacky and I'm not even going to flour my work surface because I want this to stay soft and pliable. So I'm going to knead this for about 15 minutes. And you could use a stand mixer on a medium speed for about five minutes. That works as well. So before I progress further into this video, I just want to say, not all tortillas are made the same. The recipe I use might not be what your family uses, and that's okay. I know some people have commented, oh, growing up we just added flour and water and sometimes salt. That definitely works. That is probably closer to a more traditional tortilla recipe as far as flour tortillas. I couldn't tell you when people started incorporating fat into the dough, but my grandmother's take on this is that she did that because the fat in the dough helped to keep the tortilla shelf life longer. It would, she would make them in the morning or maybe after breakfast, she'd store them and they'd be ready for dinner without her having to cook dinner and tortillas at the same time. So the fat and the moisture ratios, that's kind of what it leads up to, especially if you're gonna use these for tacos or burritos. You know, if you're just using flour and water, it will go stale quicker, it'll dry out quicker, and it's kind of hard to roll up or fold or stay pliable if it's just the water and flour. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just letting you know, this is why she did what she did, and I like it. Okay. So I've kneaded my dough for about 10 minutes or so, and it is somewhat smoother on the surface. It's come together quite nicely. And you'll notice as I'm dividing the dough into dough balls, it's still soft and tender, and that's what you want to look for in your dough. If it's too tough, you might need to add moisture to it. So I'm just going to do the tuck and turn motion and make the dough ball more uniform and place it into my bowl. And after dividing my dough, I'm going to place a damp cloth over the bowl and let it rest for about 15 minutes or so. So at this point, it's resting. Resting is key. You've worked up the gluten. It's time to rest. You need it to relax because you know when you're rolling out your tortilla dough and a lot of you guys comment, oh, it's not rolling out. It's shrinking back. Uh, yeah, it needs to rest longer. The dough is tough because the gluten has worked up so much when you were kneading it. So you got to let it relax. So if you go out to roll the dough and it's shrinking back, you got to rest it longer. Okay, so I actually let my dough rest for about 25 minutes, which is great because look how soft and tender and stretchy it is. This is going to make for a great tortilla and it'll be a lot easier to roll out. So I'm going to lightly dust my work surface. Like I stated, lightly flour the work surface. And if you, you put too much flour, it's gonna work itself back into the dough. And that's why when you go to cook it, it just dries out and turns into a tostada basically. So, you know, be mindful of what you're using to roll it out. And again, if it's shrinking back, you gotta rest the dough longer. I like to roll out about three or four and hang them over the side of the bowl to rest again. I know what you're saying. I'm resting the dough again. Yes, you are. It's just part of the process. Tortillas are not a quick process. That's just the truth. That's just, I, that. at least in my experience, I've been doing this for 30 plus years. I know I'm giving away my age. Um, it's just, you gotta let it rest. So I'm rolling out my tortilla and I'd love to tell you that I have this like awesome, precise method of rolling this out. But as you can see, I just turn and roll it out, turn and roll it out, 
make sure that it's not sticking to the work surface. And here's my tortilla. Sometimes they're round, sometimes they're not, that's okay. So I'm going to let this rest on the side of my bowl for about five minutes or while my comal or griddle is preheating. Now the comal is another key point to this. I set my electric comal or griddle to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the highest that it'll go. Now, if you're doing this on the stovetop, um, it's right before smoke point. If there's, you know, clouds of smoke billowing away from your pan or griddle, that's too hot. Your tortilla is going to burn before it does what you want it to do. So just bear that in mind. It should have maybe tiny wisps of smoke, like it's almost a smoke point. That's where you want it. So my griddle is preheated and I'm ready to start making these tortillas. And I want to show you, as soon as you place your dough onto the griddle, within the first 10 to 12 seconds, you should already start to see a reaction from your dough. You should start seeing air pockets form or air bubbles or start to puff up slightly. If it doesn't puff up slightly or start to have air pockets, you need to crank up the heat on your griddle. That's a good indication that it's not hot enough. So I'm going to time lapse this and show you how it puffs up. Now that it's done, you'll want to place your tortillas into a tortilla warmer or wrap it up in a towel to keep it warm, soft, and pliable. Okay, so success. I hope I answered your question to why don't my flour tortillas puff up? I hope it helps. Now, if it doesn't dramatically puff up, that's okay. But if you get air bubbles, that's great because that's indicating that the tortilla has cooked through. And that's what you want. You don't want to eat raw tortillas. And that brings me to my last point. A lot of you ask, how do I store this? How long do they last? Uh, they don't, <laughs> at least in my house. But if you have leftover tortillas that are cooked already, just know the shelf life for a flour tortilla is less than 24 hours. You might get away with reheating it the next day within a 12 to 15 hour window. They may reheat, but they're not gonna taste the same. That's just the, the nature and the life cycle of tortillas. They get stale. The longer they are exposed to air, they get stale. They lose moisture, they lose texture, and such is life. I don't have an answer to keep them, you know, soft for a long period of time other than placing them in a storage bag um, that helps to retain the moisture. And also I have a, re a recipe video for freezer prep tortillas. I take you through the process of making the dough and how I store them in the freezer for singular use. Let's say you just want to heat up two tortillas. Well, you have the dough pressed out, you cook it and there you go. So I will link that in the description below. I will link my original soft flour tortilla recipe video below as well. And I hope this helped you guys. I'll probably be doing a series on this of just questions you guys ask. And I don't know, hopefully you find it helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.